folks. Michael McFarland here on the world famous Go Lake, Lake Fork, Northeast Texas. Hey, today I'm going to give you my personal review and opinions on the brand new 2020 Skeeter FXR series powered by the Yamaha VMAX four stroke show engine. Super high output. The brand new Skeeter FXR series is a completely new boat from top to bottom. That's right, it's an all new hull and a new cap. So it's all together a completely new ride. So here are just a few of the standard features that come with the FXR. The first thing, pretty unique to have custom tires and rims. Custom built trailer by Skeeter Boats. The next thing is, is the boats come with hummingbird sonars, 12 inch sonars at the console and the bow, and they are linked to the Minn Kota trolling motor with the spot lock that everybody loves. Also comes with eight foot power pole blades. Nothing worse than backing down in the dark and you can't see the ramp. Skeeter boats come with backup lights. Quick release belt buckles. So it's real easy to put the, button, put the boat on the trailer and off the trailer. Simple, quick latch and you're done. Extra heavy duty Fulton boat jack. This thing will not fail on you. A lot of these boat jacks aren't really made to lift this big of a boat. This Fulton 1600 pound is made to do it. It will not break on you. It will not get hard after a year to wind up, get all corroded and messed up. It's, the Fulton is the way to go. Again, comes standard with every Skeeter Bass boat. So when you buy a vehicle, you tend to get a donut for a spare. A lot of times, even in the bass boats, the spare doesn't match the custom tires and rims that come with the boat. In this case, Skeeter has matching spare tire. What an awesome deal. Thanks, Skeeter. God forbid you ever fall out of the boat, especially in the winter in a real cold day, Built-in ladder, very simple. You can get back in the boat. If you did get hurt or broke your arm or something like that, I'm pretty physical. I believe I can pull myself back up into this boat without that ladder, but it sure is nice that something like that comes standard with every Skeeter boat. Here's a few more little accessories. When you pull up to the dock and you're looking where to tie, Hit the button, put your loop here to the dock, keeps the boat square. Boat comes with a fusion stereo, which links to the, the Hummingbird. Basically, Bluetooth, you Bluetooth link your phone to the Hummingbird. You can have Pandora or AM, FM radio. Comes factory stock already with a stereo in it. Now, I personally like to go out in the peace of quiet, but there are some days where putting a little low music on will keep you in the game. Kind of nice to have that from the factory. Here's one of my most favorite features of this boat. Skeeter has given about four extra inches to the length. So the overall length is 21 foot six inches. I think it's four more inches they've added. They've also added over one foot in the width of the deck of the boat. So if you come up here with me, you see how much deck this is. Folks, I can set a tent. I can set a two-man tent up here. I'm six foot four. And I can lay across the whole deck of this boat. Deck space, unbelievable. Unbelievable. Man, these seats are something else. These seats make the ride also very comfortable. They're real cushiony. They're not over hard, they're not too soft, um, but they really, really snaps the boat up. Again, it's one of the factory features. They come with these custom seats like this. The handles here are super nice. I can't tell you how many times I just did it. I got up by pushing here, um, and you push on these corners. When you're coming in to get in your seat, and you push it on these corners. And a lot of times they get dirty, they get really worn. This was brilliant. Um, now when I come in, I put my hand on this handle. I feel safe, it's strong. They really did some thinking when they made that. Folks, there are so many improvements to the new FXR series. It's unbelievable. 
I feel like the engineers actually sat down with a half a dozen of our top level pros and listened to them. Um, I don't mean to knock engineers, sometimes they can be tough to work with. There are so many features on this boat that are amazing. Even this simple little locker right here, which is our drink locker. The last FX that I had was probably about three inches tighter here. Of course, widening the boat gave us some room, but we have extended this middle seat. It's a cushion seat. It's extremely durable, so you can step on it. It does not tear or mesh from your feet. Holds up to the abuse. It's actually our drink cooler. Many times that passenger that's riding in the middle, at least in the FX, was kind of crunched up. I've had everybody tell me they're extremely comfortable, and this actually holds up to the abuse. And a lot of other little accessories, as any bass boat should. Your bilge pumps, aerators, etc., etc. So standard boat is ready to go fishing. You ask about locker space? They gave it to us. One center locker for your tackle and terminal. It holds 90% of everything that I need for the day on the water. Rod storage. I've got one, not one, but two dual locker storage. Each side is capable of holding about 24 rods. Now they've done away with the single rod holders, and in my opinion, it's much better. You will need rod socks, but you can put a whole lot more rods than those single hole rod holders. Extra storage here for your paraphernalia, your, your power pole remote, any other things, your tools, your fishing lines, things like that. Again, an extremely well thought through layout of the lockers. A little more locker storage for you. The back lockers, standard. A little bit smaller than the norm because they have decreased the back deck just a little bit, giving more front room. Live wells, two huge live wells with a removable center if you wanted to make it all one. Maybe you're musky fishing or whatnot, putting bigger fish in there. And folks, Folks, I've been fishing all my life and I've had a whole lot of bass boats and I've spent thousands and thousands of hours, if not thousands of days, 200 days a year for over 20 years. I have never ever seen a bass boat with this kind of locker storage, space, convenience, and easy accessibility to everything that's important in this boat. I have immediate access to all my breakers. I have my power pole pumps that can very simply be reached and refilled. Single access to each battery. Quick clips on everything, all of my bilge pumps, all of my aerators can be changed like that. Surprisingly, this took a long time for somebody to do this right. Thanks, Skeeter. Now I'm going to give you a few of my reviews and my opinion. The ride, one of the best rides I've ever had. It's the most comfortable Cadillac, uh, very capable of being trimmed and turned into a rocket. Um, I have never had a boat in my lifetime that could be both. I've had a 22 foot Ranger boat that was an anti-aircraft tank. That boat plowed through the water no matter how rough it was, it was a very comfortable ride. Keep this boat trimmed and in the hole, that's just what it does. You do not have to trim it all, and you will hit 60 miles an hour in the most comfortable, smooth, safe feeling ride that you've ever had in any bass boat. You can turn and trim. Bring the jack plate up and start to trim where you throw a rooster tail. This boat turns into like an old Triton. If you remember in the 2000s, we had those Tritons that were super, super fast, but they were squirrely. They chime walked and they got dangerous and people did wipe out. Well, this boat does that without the chime walk. It'll begin to chime just a little, but stay in it and it drives right through it. It finishes the lift and actually rides much like the old 2000 Tritons, um, but much safer, super fast. 76 miles an hour is my top speed. 25 miles an hour is my lowest speed still on pad in the hole overall review of the ride hands down by far the best
best riding boat, most comfortable and safe feeling that I've ever been in. In fact, I had a client say, Mike, this isn't a bass boat, this is the Hugh Hefner of all bass boats. That's quite the compliment. So not only is the Skeeter FXR the best riding boat that I've ever been in, the most comfortable boat I've been in, the best layout, locker, and design that I've ever seen, but it's priced right. Today's market, boy, these, these boats are really starting to get higher and higher and higher. Between the Nitros, the Phoenixes, the Scooters, the Rangers, you can almost buy a small house for what we're putting in these boats. I believe this boat is price pointed right where it deserves to be. You're getting your money's worth. It's definitely one of the best boats that I've ever run again. If you want to see these boats, go up and see Fred at Diamond Sports Marine in, in Alba. Um, tell him McFarland sent you. I'll even personally give you a test ride. I'll even let you drive mine if you like. Really appreciate you watching, guys. I highly recommend if you're in the market to buy yourself a new bass boat, at least give the FXR series from Skeeter a closed look.